What's up, peeps? So, another addition that we have come across is this Halo View backup camera system. Um, it comes with that monitor and this camera that you can put anywhere that we can use because obviously Betty doesn't have a backup camera like the newer truck. So, uh, we thought we would give this a, tr give this a try and uh, see how well it works. So, stick around and See how well this works out. I never made it, but I know what it takes. I'm motivated by a mix of emotion. Got my statement, and I'm all right. So, the halo view the monitor it plugs into your cigarette lighter pretty easily, it has even a little power button on there, so it won't leave the power on all the time. But you come up here and you hit this power button, and uh. I currently have it set up with the, the camera, uh, but you can see the lines here that they've got like the new trucks have. And then what you do is you turn the power on the camera itself, like so, and boom. Now I gotta move it away because it actually has speakers on it too, which is really crazy. But let's come back here. And we're going to put it kind of square in the middle here. Looks at the hitch. Oh, well, there you go. Now you can see your hitch. And when you're backing up, and it gives you the lines of how close you're getting. It has this menu button here where you can change the picture. You can put it on mirror. The mirror is not fun. That really messes with you. But um, it does have, oh, go back up here. So then, go across, I wish it was touch screen. That would be awesome. But you click okay, and you have your settings where you put it on, you know, what the time is, the date. You can have up to four cameras, which is really cool. And so here you can have four cameras and they show you all the setups that you can have to change the cameras in. So like, for example, if I wanted to come down here, then what you could do is you can actually have all four cameras if they were hooked up. So that's actually pretty cool. But yeah, man, so far, I mean, as far as backing up, we'll uh, do a little demonstration here and see, um, give you an idea of how well that works. Plus what's really cool is that they both have speakers on them. So if you have somebody helping you back here, you can actually hear them if for some reason you can't hear them over yelling. You can hear them through the speaker system. So again, another cool feature. So we've got the camera on. Thought I'd give you guys a quick demonstration on how uh, effective it is and whatnot. So as you can see, when you're coming to backing up to your RV, Now I will say, in my opinion, I think the weather, as far as uh, um, like when it's cold, has um, affects it. But if you take it slow, it'll keep up. See, I stop, it stops. But if you try to do something quick and invasive it takes a second for it to catch up now the way i got it set up is to where i can see the hitch pretty accurately when i'm coming up to the frame of the rv And that gets you close and I think it's I think it's really really cool the way it does that now the camera does have multiple settings to where you can look down uh, out up you know has about six different settings and it clicks as you turn the camera up so it'll stay in place um, so yeah so far so good man I think uh, I think it's gonna work out it'll help get me lined up until um, Ryan gets a guy here and help me. So if you have someone helping you, um, they can help you finish off and get closer if you need to. But if not, um, 
it will get you right up underneath the ball. I mean, it's pretty darn accurate. You take your time, you keep it slow, be safe. And uh, yeah, it works really well. So we'll definitely check it out on the road. We're gonna test it um, connected to the truck, driving down the road. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't go flying off. But they say that magnet's pretty strong, so we'll see. But um, yeah, stick around. As you can see, it'll stay magnetized to your truck bed or tailgate or wherever you have it. And then that way, if you need to, you can watch the hitch, the load. Um, we actually, when we were using it before, I left it on there for a good hour to test how good the magnet was as we drove down the highway and it never budged. So this works out great for those moments that you first hitch up because you know you always have that thing in the back of your mind, hey, did I get everything? Is it all hooked up good? You know, is it gonna stay attached to your truck? So this helps keep an eye actually on your hitch and reconfirm to yourself that hey, I did everything right. I went through my steps, I got everything covered, and you know, your RV, or trailer or whatever you use it for isn't gonna go flying off your hitch. So with that being said, I would say this is working out great for what we use it for. It actually has modes where you can have four different cameras so you can get four different views of everything. And like I said, the magnet is extremely powerful and it has a pad on it to where it will not scratch the paint on your vehicle, which is also really nice. But anyways, I would say this is a definite thumbs up, um, and we'll be using the crap out of it, and we're actually gonna be looking at getting the other cameras so we can get multiple views. And here's the, it's beeping at me, it's out of juice, so I gotta charge it. It usually takes probably 30 minutes to an hour to charge full way, but once it's charged, it's good to go for about seven to eight hours, so if you wanted to leave it on there all day long, no problems. A thumbs up from K&R on the Halo view. I am gonna look into three more cameras because it does have the capabilities to have four different ones. You can get four different ankles. Um, one on the back of the RV, we were thinking, and uh, two marker light. They've got marker light cameras, which is really cool. LED lights with the cameras already built into it. So they can sit on the side of the RV and see down the sides that you can't see quite possibly. So definitely be looking into that. Thing is, uh, if I didn't mention it before, is the capabilities of putting a memory card in there. So it'll record everything. So it's almost like a dash cam as well if you wanted to do it that way. So lots of different options. And other than that, man, definitely recommend the Halo View for the older trucks. Um, keeps you from having to run a bunch of lines and everything through it. Um, so yeah, appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review and uh, we'll see you next time. Deuces.